Rolling Stones Undercover of the Night. Undercover. Undercover. 1983. One of my favorites from them. Uh, before that, Winky Dinky Dog, as I promised, from, <laughs> from Hollywood Shuffle, a request from myself that I put on our own show. I was like, can you play that, Stephen? I said, yeah, you know what? I can. And we just did. Winky uh, Dinky Dog. The Winky Dinky Dog. Winky Robert Dinky Townsend. Dog. Before Winky Dinky Dog. It was some Joe Jackson. That sentence has never been said before in the history of mankind. Is she really going out with him? I think you're right about that. Yeah, it's a classic. And we started things off with Billion Dollar Babies from Alice Cooper. And, you know, uh, to get back to the Rolling Stones, I contend that that, that uh, Undercover of the Night is the last, not the last great Rolling Stones song ever recorded, but I think it's the last classic Rolling Stones song. I don't think they made a song after that that would be like, integral must have right, must right. listen Rolling what Stones. album was it on that was on the undercover album oh i see and that was album 17 of 30 as it turns out <laughs> for the rolling stones so in my mind and maybe this is a sort of a d-bag thing to say on a classic rock show that they peaked with uh with, that was it it's amazing they're they're going still i mean yeah it's, still you know, going i mean they're yeah. going to be coming out with walkers going start me up oh yeah yeah <laughs> Me up. Yeah, it's they're gonna keep going, you know. And I saw them back in in 1998. I had a few drinks with some friends back when I was working at IBM. That's weird. And I got I had IBM. I got a little drunk, and my friend was like, "Hey, I got an extra ticket for the Rolling Stones. Do you want to go?" And I really wasn't that interested. But in in my kind of drunken state, I was like, "Yeah." I want to go to the Rolling Stones. That'll be cool. And then the the next morning I woke up. I was a little hungover. I was like, oh, did I just agree to that? And the tickets were like 50 bucks, which was a lot of money back like 20 years ago. Wow. And we yeah. went, and it wasn't that great of a show. Really? It was... Mm. They played exactly what you would expect them to play and nothing outside that box. Were they just kind of going through the motions? Yeah. They, gonna... I mean, there was a big, great show in terms of them putting on a show. Right. But right. it was just like, okay, they're going to play Start Me Up and they're going to play Satisfaction and they're going to play maybe Street Fighting. But really, it was just like they, they in some stuff off the new album, which people didn't really care about so much. So it wasn't that enjoyable of a show. But at the time, I thought, you know, I want to see the Rolling Stones because it's 1998 right. and they're, what are they going to maybe tour for another couple of years before they retire forever. And I was clearly wrong about that. Nope, well, you're wrong. It's like when I saw The Who Still back in, in like 89, I thought, well, I'm never going to get to see The Who. So right. I saw them, <laughs> yeah. and those are pretty good show, but they're still good. They're they're so so. I did the same thing with the Osmonds. Yeah, yeah you like, just thought, it's now or never. But they're, they're, here, they're still working. Again. Now or never. Yeah, you know, it's amazing, these guys. I mean, I wonder what it's like to be doing music for like 50-something years. Yeah. And try to be enthused about it or try to bring it. And yeah. around the same people. I mean, most bands don't make it because they can't get along with each other. Yeah. So. Like someone switched out or OD'd or died or something. Oh, yeah. When I played in bands but. as a teenager, there were guys in those bands that I really would, would have enjoyed murdering at, at times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's hard, man. I mean, I feel years. that way about you guys. Oh, yeah. Just it's rage. <laughs> you know, it's working in here seething, every week. Seething rage pretty much at all times. Yeah. Um, Rolling Stones and that. Do you so. think the Stones roadies just don't tell the fans that they're like sitting in tubs of Ben Gay and like watching sipping Wap tea, sipping tea, just like not being super cool rock and roll people at all? <laughs> yes, the I know. Part, of, part of my, my part of my grandfather's job back in the day, he was a he was uh, he was chief oh, yeah. of publicity over at MGM and stuff. Was keeping stuff from right. getting out because these guys, yeah. everyone's living their life and doing. The crazy stuff that they do, especially in Hollywood, and yeah. and he, you know, he was full of all those stories too. But he, his job was to keep it, you know, out keep of the papers the, and the DL. Yeah, you know. that's yeah. a good job, man. Oh yeah, I met the what? This is not about classic rock, but I met the head detective on the um, Manson murder case. Um, he was a an ex boyfriend's like uncle or something, and I, of course, just got like I don't I got too, I think too excited for him. To uh, understand, fanboyed. I fanboyed and I <laughs> asked all these questions and he was like, first off, I'm not going to tell you. And second, what kind of sick person wants to know? <laughs> I just <laughs> felt so, I was like, I'm He's like, nobody has been interested in the Manson case <laughs> over the past 50 he, years. He like kept it. And then like his kids were like, yeah, he doesn't tell, he won't even tell us stuff. Right. Like he's yeah, just kept he's it seen locked. things. Like, 
Well, He's somehow, in some way, in some ass backwards way, that ties into classic rock. It, Absolutely, yeah, right? it yeah. does because you know, Hanson, kiss and tell. Beach Boys, Cal- okay, Helter Skelter. We, yeah. we know it. It's Beach all California. Here's how it ties in, folks. It's all about California, yeah. right. Manson, and uh, <laughs> we're going to continue. And well, that's coming up too. But Stage we're going to we're going to continue Stage. our magical foray into classic rock and comedy with Led Zeppelin going to California. 